Hey guys, what's up and welcome to the video. So here today we're finally going to attack uh, the how to switch my, uh, how to change my icons on the XMB to my apps and PSN games and all that stuff and add the backgrounds and all of that, which, um, you know, we've been uh, been mentioning and we're going to be doing it for a while and uh, doing this video and of course it, it took forever, but we're finally here. I realized too when I got started that it's um, it was just too long. So we're going to break this down into two parts. Today we're going to focus on the icons, the background splash screen on the XMB um, that displays when you hover, and, um, and and how to switch those within your PSN games, your backed up games, and your apps. Um, the next part will focus on adding a bunch of uh, icons, customized icons here, um, so that you can add them to your um, you know to your account. Uh, <clears throat> And uh, and they'll display, and you can just add a, a bunch of them there. And uh, and then we're gonna uh, cover the cover art and how that displays and how to switch that. Um, so you you can change your covers to whatever you want to when when they um, you know when they display in Webman, S Man, whatever. We're also going to do the um, S Man icons as well as the Webman icons. So all of that is gonna come in the next part. If we have a chance to in this video to cover it, we will. And also we're not. I'm not going to cover how to edit images here, guys. There's way too many apps out there, from Photoshop to like MS Paint. There's way too many things to cover with editing uh, an image. Basically, you just got to make sure you get the name right. The name has to be right. Everything is case sensitive, so uppercase, lowercase matters. Uh, make sure you get the extensions right, and you must get the size right. So I'll cover that as we go along. And don't worry about bricking. We're not doing anything to the dev flash. Um, it's it's just you know image stuff, and you don't have to worry that you know your PS3 is going to break or whatnot. Worst case scenario is you might see just a blank icon or with a gray box. You just put the original one back and always back up your original stuff to somewhere. All right, let's get started. I'm going to head on over to Multiman and go into the file manager, and I'll meet you. All right, so here we are at the file manager. Now, you guys, if you want to follow along via FTP, you can follow along via FTP. That's fine. First, we're going to go into the dev HDD0 folder. And then from there, we're going to head on over to the game folder. And this is where your um, most of your apps that you, uh, that you get, like Webman Mod, Rebug Toolbox, uh, the emulators, uh, Artemis, all, all that stuff, pretty much installs here. Now there are some exceptions, there's some that don't like S-Man doesn't install here, uh, and stuff like that, but the majority of them install right here. Um, sometimes it's hard to tell which one's which, but it's pretty easy because Multiman will display PNG and JPEG images um, without needing any add-on or any plugin or anything. It just displays it real quick. So it's kind of easy to figure out. For example, here, SSNE1000, is uh, it's kind of hard to tell what it is, but if we go into it, here's a PNG file, the icon zero PNG. If we double click on it, there's the um, the icon for RetroArch. So I know that this is RetroArch. All of these are pretty much going to be exactly the same. The icon zero dot PNG is the one is the icon that displays on your XMB. So that's what you need to change. And just make a note that it's always called icon zero and that it's PNG and that it's capitalized, okay? The sizes may vary. When you open it up in a program, you can look at the size, make sure the name is always right, and again, that the size is always right as well. Now, this one, if you notice, doesn't have any other PNG file, but we're gonna change that in a little bit. Let's go ahead and let's go over to, uh, let's go over here, oops. Let's go over here to RBG TL box two. And that one is when we double click on the icon zero PNG, that one should be rebug, right? And there we go. That one is the rebug icon. So we know that this is the rebug folder. So there's the icon zero. Now notice there's a pick one dot PNG. That pick one dot PNG is the background image. Now, whenever you come across these, if you see multiple picks, like pick zero, pick one, pick two, you don't need to change all of them. You could just change pick one and you could delete the other one or the other two, that's fine. When you see multiple ones, what it's doing is it's layering. Uh, pick zero will be laid down first, pick one will go above pick zero, pick two will go above pick one, 
and what it does is that each image is a different image but when they merge together on the XMB they look like one image honestly you can do the same effect with um, just one image but I guess it does look a little bit better when it's separated but that's a little bit more advanced so you can mess with that at your leisure but pick one is the background that's what's going to display so if we double click on that here you'll see that it's the rebug uh, XMB splash screen all right so that's what we need to change now these are the apps let's go ahead and cover the um, the uh, the games so if we look here at this npub 31383 we go to icon png okay we see that's pac-man but look it says trial now some games that you may have converted over with psn patch or whatever may have a folder up here called c00 if you see that folder c00 this is where you need to make the change so we come here to icon png see there is the pac-man one the one that doesn't have the trial. So if we're going to add a background to Pac-Man, it would be here in the C00 folder. If there's not a C00 folder, then you will go ahead and make the changes to the icon here. Um, and you can add your pick one PNG here as well. For your games, you'll notice that in this game folder, you'll see that the background, that the uh, um, downloads for your backed up games install here like bless 01717 is the uh, um, is the update that downloads for black ops 2 same thing with gta whenever you go into these you'll notice they also have an icon 0 png but you will not make the change here for backed up games uh, if you want to change the icons and the uh, the background image you need to go to the actual folder itself the backed up folder so you go to games and then in this case let's go to um, Call of Duty and whatever game you go to of your backed up games it should say uh, as long as they're folder type backups it'll say PS3 game and then in here you'll see the icon 0 PNG and there's your pick one and this is where you would make the change not in the updated folder so for apps and for PSN type games, it's done in that game folder. For your backed up games, it's done here in the actual backed up game folder. Okay, and that's pretty much it. So let me go ahead and let's show you here now that we're in multi-man. Um, let's go. I'm going to leave it there. Let me minimize this a bit. Okay, so now we're we're here. We're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of work. Um, I have my FTP already open. Uh, of course, you could do this via you know USB and going uh, into through your multi-man file manager. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the game folder. And first, let's take care of the retro arch. So this is the retro arch folder. There's the icon zero, all right, and there's no pick one. So if we go here, I made this Pac-Man folder earlier, and within it, there's one called Retro Arch, and I had already made um, the icon zero. Now, if you notice here, <clears throat> when I highlight this, I don't know if it's easy to see or not, but the, it tells you that it's 320 by 176. Your, um, your image editor will tell you whatever size the original one is. You have to make sure you save the modded one or changed one or whatever to the exact same size. And make sure it's PNG. Now, if you have a JPEG, you can convert it to a PNG. Most images, most image programs will do that. Um, just uh, pick PNG or vice versa. Don't just change the extension because if you just change the extension, that is not going to work. So I'm going to put it over here. It's going to ask me to override, and I'm going to hit yes. And then I found this one that was a JPEG. I used my Paint app to save it as a um, PNG. And it was already the correct size. It was 10 or 1920 by 1080. When you're using HDMI, these background ones will always be 1920 by 1080. All right. So now let's go ahead and let's do Pac-Man. For Pac-Man, I'm just going to do a search. Gonna up here the. Uh, And now I'm going to open this. See, this is a JPEG. I'm going to open this in my paint.net program. 
And down here, it tells me that it's 1920 by 1200, but it needs to be 1920 by 1080. So I'm going to make sure the aspect ratio checkmark box is off. And I'm going to do this bottom one 1080, hit OK. There we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and save it, but I need to save it as a PNG. So I'm going to select PNG here okay, and hit save. All right, hit save again. There we go. All right, and now uh, there's the PNG one. So now I'm going to name this one, all caps, pick one, dot, PNG. All right, I'm going to go into the Pac-Man folder, uh, which is 318.83. And here, because it has a C00, this is where I need to make the change. So I'm going to add it to that one. And then here, I'm going to drag this over here. There's the icon. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to open up the icon with my paint net. And uh, all I'm going to do is just change the colors real quick. I'm just going to do a simple color swap. So let's go. OK, so now I've made the changes. Let me drag this over. Hit OK. All right, so I've made the changes. Um, remember, whenever you see a PSN game folder that says C00, the changes are going to go in that folder, and that's what I did. All right. So now let's go ahead and close out of that. We're going to close out of this. And now that I'm here, I'm just going to get out of Multiman and go back to my XMB. Now, if you don't see the changes you made uh, in the XMB right away, all you need to do is restart your system. Now, I shouldn't have to restart it. I think just with it refreshing the XMB, getting out of Multiman, it should work. Um, and I recommend you being either in Rebug Toolbox if you're going to FTP or being in Multiman. That way it refreshes your XMB and hopefully you'll be able to see the changes. So here's what my, to refresh your memory, here's what my RetroArch looked like. It was plain Jane, uh, no background. Here's what the Pac-Man looked like. All right. And now if we go ahead and look at the RetroArch, you can already see the change there. There we go, and there's the background. Uh, way better than uh, than what was there before. I love that that um, that eight bit city landscape. It looks cool. I think that's from like um, Streets of Rage. I'm not sure. All right, so if we go to Pac-Man, see, I just did a simple color swap on the Pac-Man logo. It's blue, and there's the background. Much better than before, and that's how it's done. All right, guys. So anyway, thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoy making the changes. If uh, you make some changes and you want to share it uh, with the other viewers, just post them up somewhere and then uh, put up the link so we can go ahead and see them. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to look at the next part. As soon as I'm done with it, I'll put the link in the description here to, in this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Thumbs up, subscribe. We'll see you next time.